charger still there. Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well and uh, I hope everybody's staying safe. Um, definitely uh, needed to take a little break from the vlog. Uh, I just got over uh, the Omicron. Uh, it was quite the unfortunate thing. Um, I definitely wish that upon nobody. Uh, it was pretty awful, not gonna lie. Uh, with that being said, you know, uh, being that sick and uh, in a new city, kind of alone and stuff like that, it definitely uh, put a lot of things into perspective. Um, you know, uh, my doctor, uh, my cardiologist, uh, basically deemed me like a higher risk. Uh, you know, like I was pretty sick. I wouldn't say deathly ill, but I was pretty freaking close. Um, not to dying or anything like that, but absolutely brutally sick. So, um, just thankful and happy to be here and happy to not have COVID anymore. It, it is awful. Um, with that being said, uh, yeah, I mean, a cardiologist, I mean, I, I am considered higher risk because I have a heart condition. So, uh, it's a little bit different, I guess you can say. Not so much different, but I mean, uh, for a person my age, 34 years old, should be able to get it no pro over it, no problem. But, um, thank God I was double vaccinated. If I wasn't double vaccinated, I don't know. Like, seriously. Uh, so, anyways, that's not what this is about. Uh, this is going to be a review on the State Street APR kit. Um, thank you everybody for tuning in. I appreciate it a lot. And yeah, so we'll get to it. A lot of people think Stage 3 kits are like a Stage 3 ECM flash. And it's like, oh, I'll just flash the ECM and it's all good. No, it doesn't work like that. Not with a supercharged kit. Um, not with APR's kit. Uh, in order to do Stage 3 kit upgraded pulley all the goods uh you need a three inch mandrel bend exhaust front to back uh you need to upgrade your spark plugs to colder spark plugs uh you need to upgrade your supercharger pulley you need to upgrade your octane rating 93 plus um, i'm actually on the way to chevron right now to grab some 94 octane um yeah so their kit i wouldn't say it's their kit but anyway so three inch mandrel bend front to back colder spark plugs, upgraded pulley, innovative engineering, cold air intake, cold air intake's another one, uh, and then obviously the penny pulley for uh, for uh, the kit, obviously to get all the boost and whatnot, um, to upgrade your boost or to get more boost out of the kit, right? So um, I guess with that being said, Yes, this is going to be a review on the whole kit. Uh, we'll get there. I'm going to go get some 94 octane right now. I'm going to get some fuel on this thing and we'll get to it, I guess. So um, obviously I'm going to review everything from reliability, drivability, um, what it's like to daily drive it, fuel efficiency, um, and basically everything in a nutshell. Um, some people might want to know there's probably other reviews out there i mean this is a higher kilometer motor too um have i used any oil uh no this thing doesn't burn oil um any boosted application you are gonna lose a little bit of oil um whether say you have a catch can or um if you have a pc this vehicle has a pcv system so the pcv systems are designed they're like a catch can not like catch can system but they enclose all your oil vapors so you are the more boost you put in a motor the more crankcase ventilate or crankcase pressure you're gonna have right and any 
application, doesn't matter if it's twin turbo, single turbos, supercharger, um, you name it. So, I mean, a person could put a catch can on here and you would make a little bit of oil in that, but instead, uh, this thing's had 5W40 full synthetic or all purple since new. So, uh, with that being said, um, I guess, yeah, you're gonna use, you're gonna use a little bit of oil. So I, I'm guessing for th depending on your driving conditions, 300 to 400 milliliters per five thousand kilometers miles. So that's like 7,500 miles or whatever it is. Oh, girl. Um, but so th that's the only thing you know. Most people think, oh, well, higher mileage motor, you're gonna be using oil and stuff like that. The guy that I bought it off of, he didn't even know. He's like, oh, may, I think it's maybe burning a little bit of oil. And it's like, no, it's not burning oil. You're definitely losing oil back into your PCV system, which is uh, then getting burnt by your, it'll, your motor burns it, right? It's an enclosed system. So it's a system that I delete on diesels um, and just vent to the atmosphere. Uh, most people in gases, you know, with like the LS stuff, everybody's running the catch cans and, you know, you can get away from it. I don't know if they make baffled valve covers for these A6s, but they do in LS. I'm more an LS guy, so baffled valve covers um, would make a huge difference as well. Um, but anyways, those are really uh, what we'll get to, uh, you know, all the good stuff. And uh, I guess stay tuned. For that i'm gonna go grab some petrol and uh forgive my voice i'm still a little bit scratchy but um for bc's COVID protocol blah 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 i am free to go i'm free to roam um like i say uh, i wish that upon nobody it is awful and i'm just glad to be here to you know <laughs> vlog again and share it with you guys um so Thank you very much for tuning in, and I appreciate everybody for watching my channel. So, um, stay tuned. rattling around <laughs> no I'm joking it's not a beer can it's a it's a Pepsi can Pepsi's my favorite it's gonna get some heat in the motor first but uh, so Drivability, 10 out of 10, stage three APR kit review. 10 out of 10, 10, out of 10 on the drivability. Um, reliability, 10 out of 10. Um, I've got about 5,000 K on this thing now so far. Uh, yeah, it's only 5,000 K, but it's also a somewhat higher K motor, so I can give a higher kilometer review on it. I have a very high-end scan tool that I have been scanning this machine quite regularly just to see if there's anything coming up, but um, there's zero code, zero anything. Um, so, you know what? All around for the kit, um, I'm gonna say 10 out of 10, nine out of 10. I mean, I'm not dissing APR, their, <laughs> their kit, their tune or ECM flash, I guess you can say, is uh, pretty dang good. I wish I had an AFR gauge to kind of see what my uh, air to fuel ratios were, but I mean, if you have this many kilometers and there's uh, nothing's, nothing's been hurt so far, then 
you're probably good, right? So uh, two things that I would put on here if I was going to keep it, AFR gauge and a boost gauge, boost vap gauge, um, just to kind of see, you know, gauge my boost. I mean, a lot of times you can have boost leaks, you can have, you know, there's, there's a lot of things so that can go wrong or it's just if you had those gauges you'd be able to spot problems before they turned into big problems like if you went lean or if you went rich um the only way you would go rich really is if you weren't getting enough air blah blah, blah. but anyways i won't go there all around great kit because it's not just a kit it's not just an ecm flash it's not just a oh i tuned my vehicle it's not a stage one flash and oh i'll run different octane like this is a kit that's you know we're putting out well over 160 horsepower more than what this motor is stock even more I, i'd have to look into the fine print on that um i normally don't like punching out numbers unless i know them so forgive me if i'm wrong on that one but that's a guesstimate so with that being said very stout kit very stout platform 100 percent if you're contemplating on buying one, if you can find a good deal on one, try find an original owner, clean accident history, and service history. Those three things, and the work's already done, you're saving thousands. Like, I plan on flipping this vehicle, and I plan on doubling up, if not better. And I don't want to brag about that and I don't want to put that on my YouTube channel. I mean, I, I've done it in other videos, but from now on, I'm not going to brag about it because it's not bragging. Um, I don't, these vehicles are worth exactly what I'm selling them for. It's what I get them for. I know how to get a vehicle for cheaper based on my experience in buying vehicles. And at the end of the day, money talks, bullshit walks. So I'm a cash buyer and I'm ready to go. I will buy these things on the spot if I know I can make money on them, right? So um, with that being said, um, this isn't me being conceited or anything like that. It's just facts, right? I'm, I'm in the business of making money. I will make money any way I can. And this isn't one of those jobs that it's putting major stress on my life or anything like that. It's, it's zero. I don't have to do anything. I just have to put my money forward and I have to risk. There's always risk in buying used vehicle. But where there's risk, there's reward. So could end up upside down on some of these. But so far this one is, this one's a winner all the way. Winner all the way to the bank. And that's all I have to say about it. So um, the last but not least, fuel efficiency. Yes, it's a 94 tune. Yes, it's expensive to run person buying this is not gonna worry about how much money they're spending on fuel right so okay I'm just gonna pull over here so as I was saying person buying this thing is not gonna worry about what kind of octane or how expensive fuel is let's just let's just be honest um, with that being said um, it's getting around seven liters per 100 to 8.8 .8 on the highway like it's just idling around eight speed automatic like it's like under 2000 rpms when a guy's on the highway going like 100 110 so uh that translates uh you know for my american viewers uh to around that's over 30 miles per gallon once you go 7.7, 7.5 ish, you're over, well over 30 miles per gallon. I don't know the exact numbers, but I do know that it's over 30 miles per gallon when you're around seven. I know that because of uh, my Q7 TDI that I flipped as well, um, and other all the other TDIs that I've owned that were deleted. But anyways, besides the point, great kit. If you're thinking of going stage three APR, 100% for the W great kit all around um great tune with quattro this is an amazing car like i don't want to get rid of it but at the same time i, I big picture for me is i want a ctsv daily driver and i'm working towards that i mean i can buy it right now if i want to but you know what i'm gonna flip some vehicles 
in the meantime and uh, the one CTSV that I know of that you guys seen on my channel it's not for sale so I don't have to worry about it getting sold right so uh, with that being said it, it'll always be there I, well at least until spring but um, I plan on getting it uh, sooner than later so I guess uh, stay tuned for CTSV on the channel and you know what come springtime I'm, I'm gonna bring the Jeep out to the west coast I mean I can get I can get an extra parking stall underground and uh, it'd be nice to have out here because you know if my dad wants to come out and we want to go out and do vlogs or uh, he has something to enjoy when he when he's out here he can fly out um, but anyways I'm gonna stop talking your guys ear off and uh, get to some uh, nighttime vlogs here so just heading by science world and pretty much done for talking done talking for now I'm gonna uh, finish off the video with a time-lapse of you know some nighttime driving around the city and uh, maybe some good music I don't know we'll see um, yeah anyways it's super busy right now so it's like I can't really get on it can't really get on this thing at all unless you're on the highway like uh, it's just too, it's just too much car just too much motor too much car but i am going to not try i know this thing can do all wheel drive dry pavement burnouts um in a further episode uh i'm going to try not try i know i can do them it's just finding the spot in vancouver here where i can go um tear some tires up um, that'll be that'll be the tough one finding that so I guess uh, stay tuned for that and yeah thank you thanks for watching Take you guys for a little tour through Vancouver. You guys are gonna see some very nice side of the city.